Good afternoon, folks. This is ICT with a daily market recap for September 7th, 2016. Right, we had uh, the dollar index. We had mapped out a range in which the void on this big run down uh, may have uh, wanted to close into it. It only came up and hit the bottom of it. You notice the bottom of uh, this range that we identified, which is the void here. But this little piece of candle wick, this section's already been traded to twice. So we're defining the void or unfilled range by the top of that candle. And we're just extending that out in time. The buys are respecting that as well. Uh, Dolly's been in consolidation all day uh, today, basically. It hasn't really moved much. So uh, that's been a curse and a blessing for some pairs, depending upon how you look at it. The highlight is the U.S. CAD today, but we're going to go quickly over to the Euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar is stuck in a range as well, uh, which means that uh, it's probably being held in place for Euro pound trade. And we'll quickly jump over here and take a look at that. Uh, we've identified this intraday during the sessions that uh, we have a liquidity pool right above here, aiming probably for 84.50. Uh, that's most likely what we're probably going to see range expansion to the upside to run into. Um, if Euro dollar is in a consolidation as we're seeing here, that means it'll probably be released after Euro pound gets its objective at that 84.50 level. And if Euro pound's rallying with consolidation seen in Euro dollar, that means we're going to see weakness in pound. And that's what we're looking for today. Uh, after some of the uh, New York session had traded a little bit, um, I was hoping that it would give me a buy signal in here. I wanted to see a, a, a bounce off the bull, bullish order block here after the void was closed in with this range dropping down. Uh, it didn't do that. It went choppy, and I asked um, – well, I didn't ask, but I, I stated that I would like to see this uh, formation stay intact, and that way it would set up a nice buy signal for tomorrow's London session or potentially in tomorrow's New York session. But as you see, it broke down. Uh, we had this 133.45 level um, identified intraday. Before the drop down, I was suggesting that the market would probably sweep below these lows in here. It did that and ultimately went down below this swing low as well. Um, there's a lot of stops resting below here. So given what we've seen thus far for pound, um, as much as I don't want to be a short seller, and I said this today, um, I don't want to be a seller of pound today, but I'm probably going to have to switch gears and be willing to do that if I'm going to be trying to capture anything below these lows because it's a big, huge liquidity pool of stops resting below there. Okay, it's just way too clean. If it's coming all the way down this far, it's not likely it's going to leave this unprobed. So we will be looking for uh, further weakness in the pound dollar and potentially more consolidation for euro pound. And that would, again, give the green light for the market to run up here on the euro pound. But you know, we'll see. The highlight of the day was our U.S. CAD call. Uh, we were looking for a turtle soup to come below these lows here. Uh, we mapped this out uh, intraday. You can see that on the live sessions. Um, the recordings are just above the one you just clicked on for this. The market did, in fact, run up on the rate decision. And again, real quick, I don't ask what the, uh, the data is. I just know that there's going to be a high-impact news event, and I know there's probably going to be a run on liquidity. Uh, we talked about the range in here, this void being closed in and potentially trading up to 129.14 was the level, but I called 129.15 as the objective. And today's high come in at 129.18, so I'm a little off by three pips. So it's not too bad, but nonetheless, uh, it did behave as we were expecting. Uh, stops still exist above these equal highs in the form of buy stops. And we do also have a swing high here to uh, contend with, but it's going to run that. It's going to run these uh, buy stops as well. That may be what we see tomorrow. We're going into London for tonight. Uh, that's it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the live session. And if you weren't there, hope you enjoyed the uh, recorded sessions. Uh, we'll be back at it again. Uh, given marking conditions, we'll, we'll check one more time tonight in my local time at 1 a.m. in New York time to see if there's anything setting up for London. If it's not, I'll let you know, and we'll be back at it again in New York session. Until then, good luck and good trading.